my um, father phoned me up the other day and said, can you come and give us a hand? So I better give him a hand. And when you've uh, been out doing a bit of graft now and again, the thing you want to do is come home and have a cold one. So uh, I've had a few people telling me to try this um, hobgoblin stuff, that it's a really nice uh, beer. Uh, they do a variety of them. So I was walking through Costi Cutters the other day and uh, saw one there. So I picked one up and uh, put it in the fridge to give a review. Now, um, what I've done is I've gone for the uh, gold. I thought, oh, gold, always believing your soul. Right? So I thought I'd go for the gold one, see if it's any good. I haven't got my glasses. I haven't got my glasses. They're in the van. They're in the van. All right, right. I'm going to have to struggle then. It's a Witchwood Brewery. Um, Gilted Edge Golden Beer. Uh, it's Hobgoblin is fittingly fest uh, is Hobgoblin is hitting festival. You'll have to bear with, right? Because I ain't got my glasses and I'm whatever. Um, it's Hobgoblin is hitting festivals up and down the country this summer. So to celebrate, uh, they've gone to great celebrate all that is great about the festival scene. Oh, they're giving T-shirts away. All oh, right, fair enough. Uh, doesn't actually tell you a lot about the actual drink itself. Uh, it's 4.5 volume in alcohol. It's a 500 milliliter bottle. So we drink responsibly and all that. Uh, I'm not a lot more I can say about it, really. I suppose, obviously, it's for the festival season, like they have said on the label. And there's a nice little competition thing there on the top. Um, nice little picture there of a hobgoblin. Not more I can say about it, so let's tuck in. Won't be long, folks. Now then, ooh, smells. Now this is gonna. I know what. I know what. Right, you people must sit there, and I'll say something so bloody obvious, and you'll say, "Ugh, no shit, Sherlock." Of course, it smells of whatever it is. Well, sometimes things don't smell worth it. Should do, and they don't smell of the label. But fair play to you, because that is the kind of thing I would say as well, because I too am a smart ass. Right. Well, that does smell like an old style, old fashioned beer. Yeah, something like you, you go to the pub with your dad when you're a kid and he'd have a bitter, a pedigree or something like that. So if this smells as good as pedigree and it might taste as good as pedigree. Well, here we go. So. Tilt that glass. Well, that's a very light beer. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting something darker. Surprising. Bloody hell, that's nice. That is completely different to what I was expecting it to taste of. No, don't get me wrong. I was expecting it to taste like beer. Beers do taste all the same. You just have a little bit of a twing and a twang to different flavours. But that is really surprising. That is... I mean, it just says it's a golden, golden beer. Is it ale or lager or what? Contains barley, malt, and wheat. Avoid alcohol if you're pregnant. Do you know what? That's bloody nice. That is, that is so surprising. I was expecting it to be more like a pale ale kind of thing. And I know it's not, it doesn't say IPA or anything like that. I can't say it anyway. But bear with because of my glasses. But that is really nice. And I, do you know what, folks, right? Now, don't get me wrong. If I thought it was rubbish, I'd have said it was rubbish because people have been asking me to try it, and I'm not just going to say I like it just because they tell me they like it. You know what I mean? I will give you my view, my opinion, and that's it. And I will tell you now, that has surprised me. That is really nice. And I hope, well, in a way, I'm hoping that the gold isn't just the nicest one of the lot. Because, I mean, 
I've just been through Morrison's and I've got another one. Excuse me, bit of gas. I've got another one to try, but it's in the fridge and I'll do that at a later date because I'm on nights and all that kind of stuff. I'm not on nights tonight, but I will be on nights later. And um, I bought another one to try. That is really good. I was expecting a, like I say, an ailey kind of taste, but it's got, it's got an ailey taste to it. But it's also got a, a, a lagery taste. And it's really good. So, folks, if you are out there, and I hope you are out there watching this, and um, oh, I've got a bit of mastic on me there, look. I've got a bit of mastic on my hand. That's going to be a pain to get off. Um, if you are out there, which I hope you are, and watching this and spreading the word of the Blue Van Man, if you see these in the shop, get one. I don't think it would be very good to room temperature like some drinks you can get nowadays, some pale ales. I don't think where you have to have them cold. This has got to be a cold drink. But it's really, really nice. Really good. And I will be buying more of these. Don't get me wrong, folks. I'm not going to do about 50 bloody reviews on Obgoblin beer from Witchwood Brewery. That is quite refreshing on the tongue as well. It's really, really nice. It's a nice, crisp, clear taste of beer. Very, very good. Got a nice head. It's not over gassy. It's not going to give you lots of gas. And you're not going to be burping. It's not going to put you off your chips or your kebab on the way home and fill you up with gas. But it's, it's just quite nice. And I can see if this is a hit at festivals, why people are drinking it. So, uh, and they taste better out of the bottle. Do you think they taste better out of the bottle? I mean, I put it in a glass so you can see the colour and the, the head it gives. But beers like this, I think, should be drunk out of a bottle, straight out of the bottle, because uh, I don't know why, it's just something... Well, 4.5% alcohol volume, Obgoblin, that is gold. That is a really, really nice drink. Whoever's done that has done well. Um, but like I say, if I didn't like it, I would say I don't like this. I could do that other one I did the other week, the other day. This is nice. Nice, crisp, good taste of a beer. And it doesn't leave a dryness in your mouth either. It's, it's, it's really good stuff. So, yeah, folks, if you see a hobgoblin, don't hit him, drink him. All right, folks, I'll just finish this off. Rude not to. <sighs> Outstanding, that. Really good. All right, folks, laters.